They call us racist, white supremacist, white nationalists, and now terrorists. In the DNC media's desperation to get Trump out of office, they've demonized him and his supporters to increasingly horrible monsters. This despite increasing violence against Trump supporters, government facilities, and Republicans in general. For example, the violence we saw against Trump supporters in San Jose before the election. Supporters who were chased down, beaten, and pelted with rocks and eggs by people who were waving Mexican flags. In fact, the mayor of San Jose is currently being sued by Trump supporters for ordering police to quote sheep herd Trump supporters into the violence and then block their escape. A court victory tonight for some Bay Area Trump supporters after they ended up caught in the middle of a violent protest in San Jose back in 2016. San Jose PD led us right into the protesters. It also led to a lawsuit against the city of San Jose. And while we're getting attacked, they're just watching and allowing it to happen. Isn't it interesting that we never hear about this incident anymore, especially considering what happened in San Jose? Or how about the attack on the GOP baseball game or the multiple attacks now on ICE facilities? My point is, and I know I'm repeating myself, is that our so-called free press is enforcing double standards against their political opposition. We'll get right back to that nutcase, but let me just take a quick moment to thank this channel sponsor, RibT.com. Come on guys, if you're still buying all your daily wear in a 10-pack plastic bag from a department store, it's time to consider upgrading. You're gonna have to buy t-shirts and underwear anyway, so why not buy a high-quality product from an American company that supports free speech and YouTubers like yours truly? Your skin will thank you, thanks to their signature cool nylon silk, which will keep you feeling dry and comfortable all day long. If you'd like me to give your channel or website a shout out, simply make a purchase at ribtcom forward slash drone tech and use the promo code drone tech to get 20% off most items. Send me a proof of purchase and I'll give you a shout out. Thank you. That brings us to MSNBC yesterday, where Max Boot, an alleged Republican, actually compared Trump supporters to a terrorist organization. This president has always, from anyone who is around him, Anthony Scaramucci knows this as well as anybody else, demanded this blind loyalty, right? I just want to stop here briefly because I find it immensely absurd that Chris Jansing, a Democrat slash Obama sycophant on a Democrat slash Obama sycophant network, would be accusing Trump of demanding strict loyalty. For one, while we don't know that Obama had the same standard, we do know that everyone around him, including the media in Hollywood, were strictly and fiercely loyal to him. The media acted as state-run propaganda, always attacking and demonizing anybody who stood in opposition to Obama, while Hollywood literally pledged themselves to serve Obama, even going as far as to release a creepy-ass video declaring their loyalty to him. I pledge to be a servant to our president and all mankind. Because, because together, together we, we can, together, together we are, and together, together we will be the change that we seek. What the fuck is that? So yeah, another great example of the media taking something that's perfectly normal in the presidency and spinning it into something that's unusual while enforcing their double standards. He demands that loyalty and they are loyal. So if you call Trump followers racist and mass, they simply coalesce around each other and become even more defensive and protective of the leader just as they would in, say, a terrorist organization. Uh, no. Trump supporters are nothing like a terrorist organization, especially based on the standards that this clown laid out. In fact, based on his own standards, the media is acting like a terrorist organization in their fierce loyalty and defense of the Democrat Party. Anytime Democrats are accused of anything from the opposition, the media circles the wagons and demonizes whoever the critic is. It is for that very reason that Trump supporters circle the wagons anytime the media launches an attack attack on him. Everyone can see that the media is deeply partisan and constantly stretches the truth in their attacks on Trump. For example, when they claim that he called Mexicans rapists and criminals, when anybody can go look up his quote and see that he was specifically talking about some illegal immigrants. Or when they claim he called immigrants animals or an infestation when he was clearly talking about MS-13 gang members. Or when they claim he called white supremacists good people when in fact he condemned them and specifically focused on the regular people who were on either side of the monument debate. I, oh, those people, all of those people, excuse me, I've condemned neo-Nazis. I've condemned many different groups. And you had people, and I'm not talking about the neo-Nazis and the white nationalists, because they should be condemned totally. Or when they claim that Trump said he wants to exterminate Latinos, which happened on this very show. I have a president, as you said, talking about exterminating right. Latinos. 
That's why people circle the wagons around Trump and pieces like this are precisely the reason that it will continue. The Obama era FBI official who made this dangerously stupid comparison has a history of making completely insane statements. We have to understand the adversary and the threat we're dealing with. The president said that we will fly our flags at half mast until August 8th. That's 8-8. Eight, eight. Numbers 8-8 eight, eight are very significant in neo-Nazi and white supremacy movement. <laughs> Just wow. I mean, this guy was the FBI assistant director to counterintelligence. This guy is now putting American people in harm's way by giving their violent base all the justification they're going to need to start taking out people that they disagree with politically. That's why we just saw another terrorist attack on an ICE facility in San Antonio, Texas. And much like the previous attack, the media is either ignoring it or just barely covering it. Could it possibly be because they and Democrats like AOC are the ones inspiring these attacks? The FBI says a shooting at an ICE office in San Antonio was a targeted attack. Investigators say shots were fired into a window of the field office. You have it right there. The FBI said it was a targeted attack. The obvious question would be, who's inspiring these attacks? Especially considering the standards that the media is holding Trump and the Republicans to. How completely nuts is it that our media can promote and support a group like Antifa, but then escape any culpability when those groups resort to violence? Thanks for watching everybody. I really apologize for not putting out daily videos like I would like to. Who knew that adding another member to the family would be so much harder? Besides the family, I'm also working on a new set that I think you're all really going to like. But don't worry, I'm using whatever time I have available to create new content and I will continue doing so. Including exclusive content that you won't see anywhere but on Patreon or Subscribestar. If you're interested in seeing that exclusive content and you want to help support this channel, please consider subscribing to me on Patreon or Subscribestar. Not only are you helping this channel to stay alive and to grow, but you're also going to get access to all that exclusive content that nobody else will be able to see. You can find the links to both in my description or the pinned comment. Thanks a lot. I'll see you all Friday.